Hi guys, welcome back. And in this video lecture, we are going to learn service in Kubernetes. So let us start with this. So first we need to understand why we need service. For that one, let's take an example here. You have an application that contains front-end and back-end. The first thing is like how the front-end application will communicate to the outside world, means how the people will access your application. So that is the first question comes in the mind when you are going to deploy any application. The second question is come in the mind like you have the application contain the front-end and back-end. So how the front-end will communicate to the back-end application. Now the third is most important point is like suppose you have deployed any application and contain the couple of pods is there. Okay. So the pods, Kubernetes pods are inferior in nature means the pod can be deleted, terminated or maybe killed because of any reasons. So we will manage this pod by using the replica set or deployment. So they will, if any pods will be deleted, so this kind of object will recreate the our pods. But the problem is that once the pod are recreated, it will assign a new IP address. So with the help of new IP address, it is very provider very difficult to provide the communication. To solve all these problems, service come into the picture. So let's understand what this service. Service is a logical groups of pods and provide them to communicate with each other. So service are using the labels with the help of label. Service will acquire the pods and making the groups. And there's a couple of types of service that types of service we can define in service types. So let's go to the YML file and understand. So we can see here this is the simple YML file for our service. And the first take is kind. And what kind of object is a service kind of object? What API version we are using is v1. Metadata contains some basic information about the pods, sorry, about the service. And the another tag is contain the specification. The specification contain type, selector, and pods. Type is like what kind of service we are using depends upon the requirement. Okay. Selector is playing very major role here with the help of selector we can acquire the pods means we can create the groups of pods like app echo for host name. So whatever the pods contain this tag this service will acquire this. Then third is like pods. So we are using the node port means here the node port is there with the help of this port we can access our application and this port is for the cluster and this port for our containers so let's understand the types of service so there are mainly, um, mainly three types of services there cluster ip node port and load balancer then one more is external name so, so once uh, you create a service as a cluster ip means that the groups of pod you cannot access to the outside world means you are able to communicate inside the cluster but you cannot able to access your pods to the outside world and this is the default service if you not define any types so this will be the default types of the service not port suppose example if you have the requirement like you want to expose your front end to the outside world so we can use the not port as a service so this not port, not port have some uh, limitation that that you can use only limited number of ports that is 30000 to the 32767 in uh, within the range we can define our ports if you not define any ports so this will be not assign any ports so that node port will take any ports between this range the third is load balancer so let's understand load balancer suppose example if you have number of nodes and you deploy an application so node port will generate a one ip address and with the help of that ip address it will be provide the proper traffic to your each nodes so load, uh, load balancer is generally costly and so this is the things of the service let's go to the practical and understand service so we are in the terminal now and what we need to do here first we have to create one deployment the deployment contains the three replicas for nginx image and here we are using the node port as a service so why we need to use node port because we need to expose our nginx service outside the world means the people can easily access our service okay so for that one first we have to create a one yml file that is deployment dot 
.yml and in this file we have to create our script so this is the deployment script just copy and paste it here so let's understand here see the api version we are using v1 the what kind of object is deployment metadata is contain the information about the deployment specification content replica and selector so here replicas is three means three pod will be created and labels is a front end okay so this is our the labels and containers we are using the nginx container name is nginx and image we are using is nginx 1.196 so let's save this file okay so this file is available let's create the deployment so we have the command is kubectl create hyphen f then name of the file okay so once we execute this file a deployment will be created so if you want to see the deployment kubectl get deployment so we can see here the deployment is created all the ready is 3 up to date is 3 available is 3 and age is 14 second so here let's see the pods so kubectl get pods we can see here three pods is created all are running now we have to expose this pod to the outside the world means we can able to access the nginx okay in the browser okay now we have to create a one file that is service you can provide any name dot yml file okay and we already write this files for saving the time just copy here okay. so we can understand here api version is v1 what kind of object is the service metadata contain the information about the this service and specification contain the type selector and ports so type is a node port okay and here the node port port is 30225 means we can able to our access our nginx home page on this port address okay and the target port for the container is 80 okay so let's save this file and same command for execute the service is kubectl create hyphen f service dot yml so once we execute these things a service nginx is created so if you want to see the service we have the command is kubectl sorry kubectl get svc so with the help of we can get the nginx we have the two services first is default kubernetes service second is nginx service and this service is acquired the port of the label uh, we can see here label name is front end so whatever the label who is the name is front end this service will make a group of that ports okay so now we want to ex uh, expose this service so we have to get the first ip address okay this is my ip address and let's go to the browser and 30225 i think yeah so this is our port address means this is the our service node port port with the help of this one we are able to access our service okay and this service is uh, acquired this ports kubectl get ports this three ports will make a group that group name is our service dot ml so guys this is the example for the nginx service here uh, guys so this is the example we can create the service and how the service will expose outside the world so so guys please like and subscribe my youtube channel for more upcoming videos thank you